Hi guys! Continue tayo sa ating lesson which is grade 5 math, quarter 4, module 3. Ngayon, lesson 2 na tayo. So, ang lesson 1 natin is pinag-usapan natin kung paano mag-estimate at mag-solve ng volumes using appropriate strategies and tools. Ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin is solve routine and non-routine problems involving volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. Meron tayong example dito. Example ito ng routine problem. A cubic jewelry box has 100 centimeter on each side. What is the volume of the box? By the way, ang um, cube pala is, so, ang cube, ganito ang ating cube, no? Ayan. So, hayaan nyo na kung hindi straight yung line natin. So, ganito ang ating cube. Well, ang rectangular prism is a rectangle. It has the same base. Dalawa yung base niya, rectangle bases, and then like this. Okay? So, ito yung cube at ito yung rectangular prism natin. So, ito yung problem natin. Paano tayo mag-solve ng routine and non-routine problem? Ang gagawin natin is meron tayong tatlong steps. So, meron tayong three steps. Of course, ang first step natin is always understand the problem. So, iintindihin natin ang problem. So, understand the problem, meron tayong what is asked, or what, ang pangalawa is what is or are given fact or facts, and then, what operation to use? So, to understand the problem, what is asked? Ano yung tinatanong or hinahanap sa problem natin dito? So, ang hinahanap sa ating problem is, what is the volume of the box? Okay, so what is the volume of the box? And then, what is our given fact or facts? Ang given facts niya is 100 centimeter on each side. So, 100 centimeter on each side. What operation to use? So, ano kaya ang operation na gagamitin natin? Multiplication. So, multiplication ang gagamitin natin na operation. So, ngayon dahil tapos na tayo sa step 1, punta tayo sa step 2. Okay, so ang step 2 natin is plan. Sa plan, planuhin natin kung paano natin isolve ang volume ng ating box. So, dahil box siya, ibig sabihin cube siya. So, ang formula na sa paghanap ng volume ng cube is volume is equal to side cube or ang side niya, i-multiply mo siya 3 times by itself. So, ngayon is sa solve na tayo. Sa solve, gagamitin natin ang ating formula na volume is equal to S cube. So, volume is equal to S cube or side cube. Volume, ano yung um, side, size ng kanyang side? 100 centimeter. So, volume is equal to 100 centimeter cube. Ang 100 centimeter cube, ibig sabihin, ang 100 centimeter, i-multiply mo ng tatlong beses. So, 1, 2, 3. So, 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. So, i-multiply lang natin. So, 100 centimeter times 100 centimeter. 100 times 100 is equal to 10,000. Centimeter times centimeter, ilang centimeter meron tayo? Dalawa. So, that is why centimeter squared times 100 centimeter. So, 100 or 10,000 centimeter squared times 100 centimeter. 10,000 times 100 is equal to 1 million. And then, centimeter squared times centimeter, ilang centimeter na lahat? Tatlo. So, cubic centimeter. Ibig sabihin, ang volume ng ating um, jewelry box na merong side na 100 centimeter, ang kanyang volume is 1 million cubic centimeter. O, ba Napakadali lang mag-solve ng routine problem. Ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin is a non-routine problem. So, medyo challenging ang ating non-routine problem. Okay, so meron tayong example dito. Example of a non-routine problem. A rectangular water tank can hold 300 cubic meters of water. It has a length of 10 meter and a width of 5 meters. How deep is the water tank? Okay, so ano yung step natin? Step 1 natin is understand the problem. Understand the problem, what is asked? Ano yung hinahanap natin? So, ang hinahanap natin is how deep is the water tank? And then, what is or are given facts or facts? So, ang given natin basis sa ating problem is ang volume of 300 cubic meter. Okay, so ibalik natin yung problem. Ang given natin is um, volume of 300 cubic meters, ang length na 10 meter, at ang width na 5 meters. So, Volume of 300 cubic meter, length of 10 meter, and width of 5 meter. Ito yung given natin. Ngayon, what operation or operations to be used? So, ano ang gagamitin nating operation? Ang gagamitin natin is multiplication and division. So, dalawang operation na yung gagamitin natin. 
Tapos na tayo sa step 1. Step 2 naman tayo. Ang step 2 is plan. So, ang plan natin, paplanuhin natin kung paano natin isolve. Ang plano natin is divide the volume by the product of the length and the width. Kasi meron na tayong given na volume, di ba? So, binigay niya na ang kanyang volume. So, ibig sabihin, meron din siyang length, meron din siyang width. So, ano ang wala sa kanya? Yun ang hahanapin natin. Okay, so ang plan natin is i-divide natin ang volume sa product ng length at width, gaya nito. So, 300 cubic meter divided by the product of the length and the width is equal to, ano yung hinahanap natin? Ang kanyang height. Kasi ang problem natin is how deep is the water tank or kung gaano kalalim yung water tank. So, height ang hinahanap natin. Step 3 natin is solve. So, solve. Ito yung formula natin. Bakit tayo naka-arrive ng formula na ganito? Height is equal to volume divided by length times width. Kasi alam natin na pag-solve ng rectangular prism, ang kanyang volume is equal to length times width times height. So, ito yung formula natin. Length times width times height. Pero, given na yung volume natin, Given na rin yung length natin at ang ating width. So, ang hinahanap natin is si height. So, paano natin kukunin ang formula para masolve natin si height? So, ang ginawa natin, volume is equal to length times width times height. Ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin dito sa right side ng length and width para makancel natin si length and width. At dahil nag-divide tayo ng length and width dito sa right side, gagawin din natin siya sa left side. So, i-divide din natin si volume ng length times width. Okay, so proceed na tayo. So, volume over length times width equals, so length times width, cancel, length times width, cancel. So, ang naiwan is si height. So, height. So, ibig sabihin, volume over length times width is equal to height or height is equal to volume over length times width. So, kaya ganito ang ating formula. So, isolve na natin, height is equal to volume divided by length times width. So, height is equal to, ano yung volume natin? 300 cubic meter divided by length. Ang length natin is 10 meter multiplied by the width. Ang width is 5 meter. So, 300 cubic meter, 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Meter times meter is equal to meter squared. So, 300 cubic meter divided by 50 meter squared. Isolve natin, 300 divided by 50. Okay, so 300 divided by 50 is equal to 6. 6 times 0 is equal to 0. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Subtract 0. So ang sagot natin, ang height natin is 6 meter. Bakit naging meter siya? Ang, ang unit ng ating meter dito is cube, pagkatapos sa baba is squared. So kapag nag-divide ka ng um, exponent, isubtract mo ang yung exponent. Ganito, cubic meter divided by meter squared. So, cubic meter minus 2 is equal to meter. So, kaya naging meter na lang yung sagot natin or ang height natin is 6 meter. Again, kapag nag-divide ka ng exponent, isi-subtract mo sila, kaya 1 na lang yung or meter na lang yung naiwan kasi 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, ang lesson na yan about exponents is nasa grade 7, I think. Pero at least, alam natin kung bakit naging meter na lang yung naiwan. Ta cube dito at saka squared dito. That's all for today's video, guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!